to have her all the time. I like her. Like, I really, I really like her. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm feeling really good today. Hey, y'all. Okay, welcome back to my channel. So, I got an idea, right? Because y'all know I'm a freelance makeup artist. So, I got an idea to do the top five brow pencils like my top five that i've been using over the past few years for brown skin black girls melanin all of that okay so i got some holy grails up in here let me know in the comments if any of these are you guys holy grails or if you've tried any of these or like what's your staple brow pencil so put me on to something new sis put me on to something new okay so i thought about actually trying these on so y'all can see the color but here's the thing i really like my makeup right now and i want to go take a picture and i don't want to wipe my eyebrows off i don't want to do that or whatever i'm not doing that so i'm just gonna show y'all and i'm gonna tell y'all why i love the pencil okay so let's get started right, so let's talk let's chat let's get some tea or whatever okay so let's start with what my brows are doing right now let me just explain that so i went and got my eyebrows waxed probably like a month ago baby girl took all my eyebrows off i do not i am not a thin brow kind of girl i do not like thin brows she took all my brows off it is what it is so when i fill them in i kind of have to finesse like there's there's also they're also they're gone and there's also no shape so i kind of have to like make it do what it do um and so i just did a tony braxton inspired uh look like i try to do my makeup and my hair like auntie tony so go watch that if you have not already um and so that's why my eyebrows are like super almost like um bleached brownish kind of because i was trying to imitate the way that um auntie tony's brows were in the picture that i tried to replicate okay so let's get started the first brow pencil that i'm going to talk about is she's like the, she's like the brow lady of the world anastasia beverly hills the brow is this brow pencil y'all y'all this brow pencil used to be a holy grail for me. Um, I don't go for it as much anymore because of the pigment is not as heavy as what I like for a brow pencil. So you really, really, with this brow is you really, really have to build it. And I noticed that sometimes I don't really want to do that. Um, and so I like a little bit more pigment, but this used to be a staple. I was probably on this for a year heavy, including in my kit too. I would get the shade dark brown. I'm not really a person that believes that eyebrows should be, um, black. I don't care if our hair is black. I mean, most people's hair doesn't even really grow black. I'm just not about like a super deep, dark brow i think when you when your brows are a little bit lighter it looks more like like editorial it just it just gives for me when your brows are a little bit lighter so i never you will not see if you came to this video to get like deeper dark colors you will not see that here i don't i'm not an espresso uh dark chocolate none, none of those colors will ever be on my face no even with you see how dark my hair is right now never still no okay so the anastasia do y'all remember the dip brows? Okay, y'all remember when everybody was doing those? I'm not a dip brow kind of girl. I do not like a brow to look that heavy. Um, I'm more of like, just like a softer brow kind of girl. So I'm not, I'm showing y'all no dip brow products, but dip brow was really popular. But these brow wizards were actually really popular. And I used to work at Sephora. Dark brown was a color that we would always be sold out of. So if you've never tried the Anastasia brow wiz the brow wiz because it's skinny i like i like a skinny um this is my whenever i buy brow products this is what i'm going for i love that skinny shape because you can get those like nice hair like strokes but anastasia brow wiz in dark brown definitely brown girl friendly if you've never tried it give it a shot Okay, number two, number two. This is in no particular order. Like I'm not rating them like what I think is best because you notice that you use different things in different eras. And so as your makeup changes, your products change. And so I'm not necessarily saying one is better than the other. It's just 
what I'm using right now. So I only have four for y'all. I'm not gonna lie, I have four. And I text my homegirl that still works at Sephora and I was like, what's a fifth brow pencil? Like, what are you really liking? And she was like, the Fenty brow pencils are nice. I was like, oh, put me on sis, put me on. Ran to Sephora and was looking at the colors and I picked up the Fenty Beauty, the brow pencil. Um, what color did I get? In black brown. Out of all the colors, this seemed closest to what I wanted. I'm gonna insert a picture of me wearing this because I just wore this in a picture. I like this. Like this is going to be, this is going to be a new staple in my kit, y'all. And I told y'all I like fine brow, brow pencils, so that's right up my alley. This is gonna be a new staple in my kit. I like this brow pencil. I like the color payoff. It looks really nice, and it's like it's more firm um, than the Anastasia one that I told you. So I could really, really work with this. I could see myself getting this in a few more colors to add to my kit as well. But I think dark brown, black brown, is a really, is a really good color to start with um, as well for brown girls. Um, but this is nice. So this is number two, and I'm telling y'all, like for real, for real, I like this. Like definitely going to get this in probably another color and keep this in my kit okay number three number three so for number three we're going to benefit i be seeing benefit on youtube like y'all own game y'all are on game these benefit brow pencils the precisely my brow that's my favorite so hold on i have another one let me show you So the Precisely My Brow is my favorite because I told y'all I like a thin brow pencil. So basically all the brow shapes that you'll see from this video for me, um, cause I like hair like strokes are gonna be a little bit thinner. So the Precisely My Brow, um, and I usually get number four when I used to buy it. This was also a Holy Grail staple that I used to keep in my kit. Say I'm the type of person that like, once I find something else that I like, I just start buying it. So I kind of forget about the old thing. <laughs> But I used to buy, I think it 4 or 4.5, but I'm almost positive it was, it was number 4. So I bought a mini so that I could show y'all. Really, really nice brow pencil. Only thing that I would say is that this brow pencil is probably a little bit more, these are like a little bit more cool toned brow pencils. And I like my brow to be a little bit more warm, but it's still really good. Like I'm telling y'all, I used to use this in my kit and also on me as well. So Benefit Precisely My Brow is my favorite in the shade number four. But they also make, um, they make different, uh, all of these companies make a thicker brow pencil as well. But um, the girl that I was telling you about, my home girl, she really likes, oh, it's all out. I can't even show y'all cause it's all out. But this is the thicker version of what they make, the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And she really, really likes that because she feels like you can cover more surface area faster, which makes sense like when you're freelancing, but I'm still a, I'm still a hair like stroke kind of girl. So that's number three. Now, number four, if you, if you are a black brown girl, you should know, you should know that this brow pencil was gonna be up in this video somewhere. What am I about to say? Let me know what I'm about to say. <sighs> da, 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 da. Spiked, y'all. Spiked by MAC. Now this packaging is different. Um, and I don't know if with the different packaging they changed the consistency of the brow pencil, but the packaging is for sure different. It seems the same to me, but let me know in the comments. Did they change something about the brow pencil itself when they changed up the packaging of the brow pencil? But Max Spike goes back to like, <laughs> goes back to like when you first learn how to do your makeup, like who didn't have Max Spike? I'll wait. And this um, color is more universal. Like you could use this color on me with a light hand. You could also um, use this color on somebody that's a little bit deeper skin tone with the heavier hand and it still shows up. So that's why this is a great one to keep in your kit because like, like the Anastasia dark brown probably wouldn't show up um, as well as the skin tones get a little bit deeper. 
okay? I will say that. So that's when you have to start mixing. So it's good to have something like spiked in your kit because spiked is going to show up. Holy grail, have to keep it because you never know, like I say, you never know when you're gonna need to mix. You also never know, depending on what your hair um, is doing at the time, what you might, you know, what you might be going for. So it's, and this is it. Like everybody used to own this brow pencil. It's so popular. Like, I think I also have strut in there too, which is kind of ready, but I keep that one just in case somebody's hair has been colored or something and I need to mix that too, but spiked. Spiked, baby, spiked. Y'all cannot tell me y'all did not have this brow pencil at some point, okay? All right, y'all, all right, we got one more brow pencil. The reason why I saved her for last, not because she's the best, just because she's my baby right now. She's been holding me down for about a year now and I'm pretty hooked on her. Like I have to have her all the time. I like her and like I really, I really like her. That is the NYX Cosmetics, the micro brow pencil. And I get the shade Espresso or it doesn't have an X, Espresso, Espresso. I get the shade Espresso. And let me show you guys what it looks like. So all of my brow pencils pretty much all have the same kind of like shape. Cause I told y'all that's what I like. She's my baby. She's really like that really nice shade of brown. Now she's slippery. So she's not like a high end brow pencil at all. Some of these brow pencils I showed y'all are like $24 and up. Yeah. Actually all of them might be like at least $20 or over. She's like 10 or 12. No, she's $10. She's $10, so she's not high end. So she's a little slick. She she can move around a little bit on you. So before you use her, make sure that you have your eyebrows nice and matte. And then you may even want to do a brow gel or something on top of her just to keep her in place because she's a little slick. But she's she's faithful. She's consistent. That, that brown color is so pretty. Now, I mix her a lot. So like... Let's say if I'm doing my brows, I'll probably take something like spiked to actually outline the brow and get it a little bit precise. And then I'll take her to fill in the brow. It just depends on the day. Sometimes I do use her to, to fill in the whole brow, but more than likely I mix her with like different brow pencils. Like when I bought the Fenty one, when I wore the Fenty one, I used the Fenty as my outline and then I used her to fill in. So she's definitely a filler. She can be worn alone, but she's very like, she's a really, really soft brown espresso, but she's very popular. Um, if you go to the store right now, she might not be on the shelf. That's how popular she is. You might have to either try to hit up Ulta or you might have to try, cause she's in Target, she's in, um, I think she's in some drugstores too, cause it's NYX. So um, yeah, but you might walk in there and she might not be in there. You might have to order her. So she's popular. Like y'all have caught on, y'all know about her. She ain't no secret. She is not a secret. She's not victorious. So yeah, but she's she's faithful and her color payoff is everything. And I'm gonna look at, through my pictures and I'm gonna insert a picture of me wearing her as well because She's my baby. And so I had to save her for last because she's my baby. So that's it, y'all. That's it for this video. I just wanted to show y'all like some options because brows are like, brows are changing. Brows are like being laminated, microbladed, micro shaded. There's the Instagram brow, there's editorial brows, there's the natural brows. So I just wanted to take a minute and come to y'all and, and talk to y'all about brow products that I have been loving over the few years and that will always stay with me and I know I can go to. Like if I'm if they're out of this one, but I have to have something right now, I know I can buy this one and I'm gonna be straight. So that's it for this video. I hope y'all really enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below, have you tried any of them? What's your favorite? What's your staple? Put me onto something new. I am here for it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I mean, are y'all here for this? This look I'm serving. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.